Yeah, come in. You know what else I noticed in Jedi? There's more. So they build another Death Star, right? Yeah. Now, the first one they built was completed and fully operational before the Rebels destroyed it. Luke blew it up. Give credit where it's due. And the second one was still being built when they just when they blew it up. Compliments of Lando Carissian. Something just never sat right with me the second time they destroyed it. I could never put my finger on it. Something just wasn't right. And you figured it out? Well, the thing is, the first Death Star was manned by the Imperial Army Stormtroopers. Dignitaries. The only people on board were Imperials. Basically. So, when they blew it up, no prop. Evil was punished. And the second time around? The second time around, it wasn't even finished yet. They were still under construction. So? A construction job of that magnitude would require a hell of a lot more manpower than the Imperial Army had to offer. I bet there were independent contractors working on that thing. Roofers, aluminium siders, plumbers. Not just Imperials is what you're getting at. Exactly. In order to get the job done quietly and quickly, they would hire anybody who could do the job. Do you think the average stormtrooper knows how to install a toilet main? All they know is killing in white uniforms. Alright, so even if independent contractors are working on the Death Star, why are you so uneasy with this destruction? All those innocent contractors hired to do a job were killed. Casualties of a war they had nothing to do with. Alright, look, you're a roofer and some juicy government contract comes your way. You got the wife and kids and a two-story in suburbia. This is a government contract which means all sorts of benefits. All of a sudden, these left-wing militants blast you with lasers. You didn't ask for that. You have no personal politics. You were just trying to scrape out a living. Excuse me, I don't mean to interrupt, but what were you two talking about? Ending of Return of the Jedi. My friend here is trying to convince me that any independent contractors working on the Death Star were innocent victims when the space station was destroyed by rebels. Well, I'm a contractor myself. I'm a roofer. Done and ready, home improvements. And as a roofer, I can say that a roofer's personal politics come heavily into play when choosing jobs. Like when? Three months ago, I was offered a job up in the hills. A beautiful house with tons of property. It was a simple reshingling job, and I was told that if it was finished within the day, my price would be doubled. But then I realised whose house it was. Whose house was it? Dominic Bambino. Babyface Bambino. The gangster. The same. The money was right, but the risk was too big. I knew who he was, and based on that, I passed the job on to a friend of mine. Based on personal politics? Right. And that very same week, the Forasai family put a hit on Babyface's house. My friend was shot and killed. He wasn't even finished shingling. No way. I'm alive because I knew that there were risks involved in taking on that particular client. My friend, well, he wasn't so lucky. You know, any of the contractors working on the Death Star knew what they were getting into. They knew the risks. If they were killed, it was their own fault. A roofer listens to this, not his wallet. 